Bill Shorten has promised to work with all sections of the Australian economy if he is elected. The opposition leader made the pledge at a business breakfast in Perth, conscious that his former identity as a union official is being used against him by the coalition. Political reporter Jane Norman is travelling with the Labour leader. Bill Shorten starting his day in Perth, making a big pitch to West Australian voters and a big pitch to businesses. He sought to soothe concerns about his trade union background by promising to work with all sections of the economy, businesses, big and small, industry groups and unions. And if he's elected, he's promising to bring them all together for a meeting here in Perth to discuss the state of industrial relations in Australia. My whole adult life's about bringing people into the same room. So, but we'll do this in Perth. So I intend to convene my first business, economic, employee relations gathering. We want to do it by early June. Like, I'm going to get my skates on if we get elected. Wages has been the big focus of his final week of campaigning. Mr Shorten has consistently argued that wages growth is far too slow. Today, he's going after wages theft, promising to set up a new tribunal if he's elected to help workers recover any money they're owed. A more efficient and effective system, Mr Shorten says, than the costly court process. But when wages are moving more, now they've got to be modest, but meaningful. They've got to be within an industry or a business's capacity to pay, of course. Then all of a sudden we have become a more uh, confident society. The, the, the fact that last quarter we had 0% inflation is not healthy. An anorexic economy is not the shape of a healthy economy. But if there was one theme to his speech today, it was chaos. Mr Shorten has sought to exploit the Liberal leadership change and controversial preference deal with Clive Palmer, one that's particularly unpopular here in Western Australia. Mr Shorten says West Australians can help end that by voting for the Labor Party.